Russell Fork Pharmacy is your locally owned pharmacy, offering fast, friendly service with competitive prices and free delivery. Call 606-754-7085. Visit RussellForkPharmacy.com and download our free mobile app for refill requests and more. When the votes are counted on election night next week, many Eastern Kentuckians will have their eyes on a pair of state Senate races. In the 31st District, Republican incumbent Philip Wheeler is seeking his first full term in office, but faces a stiff challenge from Democrat Glenn Martin Hammond. Meanwhile, voters in the 29th District may do a double take when viewing the ballot, as they will be selecting between two Johnny Turners. Democratic incumbent Johnny Ray Turner of Prestonsburg, and former Republican State Representative Johnny L. Turner of Harlan. In both races, candidates have tried to make the race about national issues, at least on the Republican side. If you're looking at the 29th district and the 31st district, and those are the ones that affect our areas the most, uh, both of the Republican candidates, Johnny L. Turner and Philip Wheeler, have run ads to say they are Trump conservatives. And I think in the case of Philip Wheeler, one of his ads actually says, you know, he's going to continue to keep illegal aliens from coming in here and, and taking our jobs, like President Trump. But I don't really know a lot of illegal aliens that are headed to Kentucky generally, and very few are headed to eastern Kentucky taking anybody's jobs. On the one hand, you know, I suppose it's a, a strategy as a in a down-ballot race that you want to align yourself with a popular president, or at least a popular president in your area. On the other hand, uh, those issues are not really issues that you handle in the, in the General Assembly. In the 29th District, Majasic believes the power of incumbency will mean the difference in the race. I think Johnny Ray Turner is going to win in the 29th, and that has nothing to do with uh, the quality of, of Johnny L. Turner, who, if I'm not mistaken, had been in the legislature earlier in his life. Uh, Certainly Johnny Ray Turner is going to do really well in Floyd County. Uh, and, and Johnny L. Turner, because he's from Harlan County, has probably got some hometown support there. I would look for Knott County to go solidly for Johnny Ray Turner. Uh, I would probably split Ledger County. So I, I look for Johnny Ray Turner to win that. But in the 31st District, where the two candidates have combined to spend nearly $300,000, Majasic is predicting a much closer finish. Uh, that should be a real tight race. Usually you give the edge to the incumbent. Certainly the reason I'm giving the edge in the 29th is because Johnny Ray Turner has been around a while and, and, and been pretty successful. Uh, I, that race is really very, very close in the 31st. Stay with Mountaintop News for coverage of the election before and after the vote. Tuesday night, you can get real-time election updates by visiting the Mountaintop News Facebook page, as well as by tuning in to Mountaintop TV, WDHR, and WXCC for breaking news alerts. And get a complete wrap-up of election results by visiting our website, mountain-topmedia.com.